and then I will do a little bit of a run through of what has happened so far for the DAOs and how we have been so lucky that this accidental one event in Paris became kind of a cultural boiling pot that we now steward, me, Inga, Luke, and a bunch of other people, and that you were invited to steward with. And we're all learning how to steward with, and I'll try to get to this point. So basically it started with an event in Paris, uh, about 400, 500 people showed up, and it was very unassuming. And it created this very unique vibe, and people really liked it, and I was like, okay, that was fun, let's never do that again. <laughs> and, then, and then Lisbon rolled around, and then people were like, you need to make another one. That was really dope. Like it was different, it had a new vibe, like do that again. And I was like, fuck no. And I was like, but what if we give you more money this time? And then everybody kind of sponsored and there was like an actual budget and we rented like an actual space. And there was even some money left to buy a drone and take full aerial shots and stuff. And so, but then we actually were invigorated and uh, we had enough kind of self-confidence to kind of challenge some of the staples of conferences. So yeah, our talk room is actually going to be super tiny, and everybody's going to watch talks in this giant LED screen, the one in the beginning that looks like a Photoshop picture, that's real. So this giant LED screen where everybody's on a table with their friends, like in a cabaret kind of a setup, and you can have your computer, and you don't have to be pretending that you're not on your phone, right? So we, we upended all of these uh, traditions of what a conference is, and most of the thing was workshops. And we're like, ah, this is what we're looking for all along. Because it was a bunch of people, Interacting, okay, this is where I introduced the idea of the political drivers, blah, blah, blah. And then a bunch of people just working together and working at their dials and having ideas and pushing things forward. And a bunch of OGs and super experienced people like just taking up a mantle and just sharing knowledge in circle and moving their own tables because it was super hot inside the thing that we designed. Like, you know, we failed at some things and then people just self-corrected. So that, that was the deal, right? And then that was the Mexico happened. Somebody who volunteered at the first one, which was Chewy, then became kind of team, and then had his whole network in Mexico, because he's from there, and he organized the Taoist that is as big as the first one in Mexico. And I got to go there, it was super beautiful, and it was awesome, because day one before my talk, nobody knew who I was. And I'm not particularly attractive, I'm kind of chubby, I'm losing my hair. No, so nobody wanted anything to do with me, and I was just walking around like, yeah, this is so cool. There's like this heavy metal band playing. I was like, fuck. And they have a DAO, they're called Necromorpho, or you can figure it out. Uh, right? So Taoist has established itself as a crossroads, right? But we have so this sequence of ephemeral events that we all come together for a second, we light a little fire. But it's not a hearth. It's not a permanent fire. Our permanent fires are like in the DAOs and the discords, and it's like, okay, but we spent so much money to make these events, and they just go poof in a puff of smoke. And I started like calculating how much money would, would it cost to actually have a permanent space where things were like just there, a hurt, a home, right? And it turns out it's the same price as like throwing 1.5 events for like a year of a space. So I was like, okay, I wrote a political document that is a little bit more inflammatory than it needed to be, and I passed around, and people were like, yeah, yeah, you should do this. So we, we did it, right? We built a little house, and we built a little down, and the, it's not loading. I know, so guys, this is all online and there's recorded talks of this, so I'm kind of just rushed through it to respect the spe like specialness of the moment of us being together. Um, so the DAO, I know this is important, we should talk about this on the next panel. When you opened, you said, we're not a DAO because we don't have a token. You don't need a token, right? What we deployed is a set of uh, interrelationship between a set of NFTs that can control any set of smart contract things in any chain you want as long as you build the bridge. For Zodiac, right? So we still have so much to think about and what DAOs can do and how they would do it composably, but I'll leave this to the panel because also I feel it's nicer to do it in conversation. So we have this DAO, and everyone that has ever sponsored the DAO has got some governance money, right? And hopefully, everyone that sponsors it to the future will also get governance on it if I do have time to do DAO ops, as I should, which I don't. Um, but yeah, now we have a crypto culture incubator that is in a physical space that's completely equipped to manifest coordination. And you guys can come, actually. You can apply for a residency. Say, I have a project, I want to develop this, I want to cooperate, I want to create a cooperation between this Guatemalan artist, this Slovakian lawyer, and this uh, Ukrainian dev, and we're going to build this and this, and we want your crazy mind to facilitate our creative process, we want to go through crit sessions, we want to have it 
in a co-working space, we're all gonna sleep in the same place and it's better if it has a giant pool. Yeah, it's all there. Cool. So this is the house. It happened, you know, my favorite room is the garage because I'm building a multi-directional art atelier there. Um, so you can paint, you can do ceramics, you can work with concrete and wood. So we can literally build things with our literal hands, which is an experience that I want to facilitate people who are building tech to have, right? If, you, if you're feeling that you're really, really awesome at life and that you're super badass and that you never do anything wrong and you're starting to irritate everyone around you, come center a block of clay with me. You will be humble in more than 30 minutes, right? It's really hard. Um, so we yeah, went through all the design things, we were building it all, now it's all built. And we, I woke up there the first night I slept at the Meta Hub, and this is the view from the room. And I was like, okay, there's a path with heart here. We did something. Uh, I don't know yet, so please apply, please come, please tell your friends that this thing exists, and let's do some stuff there. And this is what I see from, if I look down from that window. And then this was our first meal there, everyone. And we're gonna build a full-time communications team, so when you come in residency, we're actually documenting your work, why you do it, so we already published the, the thing. Um, because, remember, stories are super mega important. So, and we are getting better and better at this in Web3, and I wanna help. And then hopefully, we're gonna have events that help the local groups, like this one, to know more stuff, and hopefully you are also gonna be throwing those events. So that's kind of the idea. Is it boring already? It is, right? I'm gonna just skip the whole, these are the NFTs, the controlled things, it's cool, right? And then we're selling these Dawn-specific sponsorships, which the four uh, uh, companies and or collectives, let's just call them collectives, that are in the banner outside, have taken the first four. We have only five slots, we're closing the last one. And then we have all the ministries. These are the ambassadors, look how ignited they are. Um, and then we have the ministries who are helping us ride Moloch successfully, following our guiding, Norbert and Shooting Star, whatever. Norbert Star shouldn't fall, if it falls, it will be a big deal. But so, uh, mythology, who cares? Um, there's still lots of those open that we're in conversation with uh, lots of groups. It's the slowest raise, it's the most tantric raise in the history of mankind because it's about alignment, right? It's super cheap, it's 25K, any company can give. And there's a lot of them that want to give, but we want to build sort of the parliament for the doubters. Um, this is the core team, which is six people right now. And then you have the elders. The elders are people who are invited from the community. I started at 12, and it's the first mission of the DAO, which is called Dawn, to actually curate and invite the next elders. So we have these 12 elders who actually, I communicate with like Pazik daily, and they helped a lot in the building of the DAO. Um, and then we have our first like DAO approved elder, which is Loie from, from Give It, which is super cool. Well, she's not Give It anymore, Gitcoin. And it was super cool, and she was there, and she was at the lunch, she's at that picture, right? And now we have our next event that's coming on uh, in Amsterdam, which will be a different one. It's a very exclusive event, not for beginners, only super experienced DAO operatives, which hurts a lot to do, but I think it's important because governance intimacy and how these first mega DAOs uh, go through their growing pains, which are not small. If you, if you have any penetration in the industry and you hear here say people are bleeding for these doubts emotionally, financially, and so we are going to create a very comfortable, which we call DAO operatives playground for people to just be together and get to know and co work and co produce, but also co enjoy. <laughs> so that's the whole thing of the global governance gathering as above, so below, flow over control. Um, lots of collective design happening on Figma boards and Myros and things like that. And, okay, so this was for the Cello Connect event, but if you want to donate some Cello to our first multi-sig on Cello, because they were super excited that they built Cello Safe, so I just created one. I haven't checked, actually, if anybody threw any money in there. I will throw some. And then we can build some DAOs on Cello, too, because I think it was super cool, the event that they put together yesterday. Um, really touched by the energy and the vibe of everything. So yeah, this is it. I'm sorry for the, the giving a talk. I don't know if it's look actually. I was like, oh, this is, I don't know if it's appropriate, but I hope it at least brings everybody up to speed on what we did and where we want to go. And if you want to like join us, this is a list from like low engagement to high engagement types of actions you can you can take, right? So if you take a picture, you can go like, oh, 
I like them just this and enough for this. And you pick one, um, and it will work. And that's it. Thanks. Yeah.